blockchain, VR, and spatial computing to drive a $315 billion market by 2028. So at the crossroads of these three emerging fields lies great hope for the future and advancement of this technological innovation. Through this fusion, the virtual world is poised to witness tremendous growth, uh, accumulating in an outstanding 315 billion market value by 2028. By diving deeper into the intricate fusion of these state-of-the-art systems, our article sheds light on the forthcoming evolution of the VR sector through the lens of blockchain and spatial computing advancements. So spatial computing and that kind of terminology um, was, uh, was highlighted during the uh, Apple announcement of their kind of augmented reality headset. Um, and has been this term that has somewhat taken off since that announcement. Um, so let's jump more into this article here. So blockchain's role in virtual reality. Essential elements like data protection and content distribution are being reworked through blockchain innovation. Content producers and viewers have access to exciting new opportunity thanks to this union of blockchain and VR. Spatial computing's impact. Spatial computing characterized by the integration of physical and digital spaces is driving VR experiences to new heights. This technology empowers users to interact naturally with virtual environments, making VR applications more immersive and intuitive. So again, spatial computing is really taking the location of a person or a device and bringing that into the, the virtual world and allowing for folks having to have that kind of augmented reality ability where they're able to overlay uh, images on top of the real world using headsets um, and really tying their location into, again, that, that virtual environment. So it says here that the projected growth of this this new uh, market is expected to grow to 315 billion by 2028. Um, goes on to talk about unlocking the potential of blockchain, spatial computing, and how that will drive the virtual reality future. Uh, so a few examples here, enhanced content ownership. So blockchain enables users to truly own their virtual assets. So no middleman from digital real estates to in-game items. This ownership fosters a sense of trust and authenticity within the VR ecosystem, driving user engagement and content creation. Um, so if you're not familiar with uh, blockchain, it is a distributed ledger technology that is all uh, you know, driven by uh, a virtual, uh, or it's all driven by um, back-end computing, right? So it's it's um, authenticating ownership um, of uh, these items on the ledger um, based off of a a kind of automated technology, which is this this blockchain. Um, if you're interested in learning more about blockchain, we do have some other videos where we dive into uh, that technology deeper. Um, but essentially, instead of having like this middleman where you have to provide your content to, uh, and then that uh, middleman then distributes that content, um, blockchain will enable folks to own their own content and distribute it as needed uh, and uh, verify ownership and transactions based off of that blockchain technology. Uh, then spatial computing's immersive experiences. So spatial computing solutions elevate VR experiences by bridging the gap between physical and virtual worlds as users seamlessly interact with their surroundings. The potential for applications in education, healthcare, training, and entertainment becomes boundless. Um, so tying again the physical world to the virtual world. Um, talks a little bit more about some use cases here for blockchain, VR, and spatial computing. One being healthcare. So the transformative potential of blockchain, VR, and spatial computing extends to healthcare. Virtual reality applications powered by spatial computing enables immersive medical training, 
telemedicine, consultations, and even surgeries. So this will be very interesting to see how um, we can move into this kind of virtual healthcare world um, or this telemedicine world where instead of me physically going to visit my doctor, um, I could put on a headset, I could visit my doctor, I could talk about my symptoms, I could point to where I'm having issues and they could you know, run their, their healthcare checks um, on me from a, a virtual world. Uh, so I do see a, a big um, use case here for healthcare and this kind of augmented reality space. Um, and, uh, you know, again, keeping, uh, keeping the elderly in their homes and in place uh, and bringing some of the, the healthcare system to them through this virtual world. Another use case here is in education. The education sector is experiencing a paradigm shift with blockchain, VR, and spatial computing. So students can engage in immersive and learning experiences. Um, so think about you know, having kind of this hands-on experience instead of going to a museum, bringing a museum into the classroom where uh, students kind of can interact with um, these exhibitions, they can interact with these kind of virtual components you know, again, all without going to, you know, an actual museum for a field trip. Uh, so uh, education, another use case they mentioned here. And then entertainment beyond gaming. So the VR industry, the entertainment landscape is the diversifying virtual reality concerts, arts exhibitions, storytelling experiences are becoming very popular and blockchain's role in tokenizing access to these events. Um, so, you know, again, instead of having a paper ticket to an event, you have a, a token, tokenized ticket that lives on the blockchain where folks can verify that you've actually been to that event. It becomes kind of a, a keepsake. It becomes a, a, a momenta that you get to keep forever and lives on the, the blockchain. Um, and part of this VR experience, bringing the the concerts to you again versus you going out to a, a physical concert uh, and then finally the future of work so in the workplace which is evolving um, shaping the future of, of work from remote collaboration to immersive virtual environments uh, I think we saw a lot more kind of virtual work in collaboration um, uh, you know after C19 or during C19 when we all became very familiar with uh, Zoom, Teams, and uh, other kind of conference call platforms. Um, I think this space is just gonna keep evolving and become more immersive where you're almost inside of uh, an office space or you're inside of a conference room, but you're still at home or in your office. So interesting article here to start off our, our articles for the week. Um, this is a big kind of market sector uh, and it will be great to see how GIS and uh, geospatial technologies really start to come into play and how other technologies like blockchain, virtual reality uh, will leverage spatial computing or GIS technologies today.